Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to find an external hard drive on a Mac that's not showing up in the device list. In case you are new to this channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button down below. We all use external drives to keep our important files safe and transfer a large amount of data between two computers. So when your MacBook stops recognizing a hard drive, even after you've connected it several times, things start to get a bit frustrating. In this situation, many people reach out to a technician to try to get the hard drive repaired. But before taking such an extreme measure and potentially wasting hundreds of dollars, there are a few things that you can try to fix an external hard drive that doesn't show up in Mac by yourself. Make sure to watch this video right to the end and you'll be able to fix your hard drive easily. Firstly, let's understand why external hard drives aren't showing up on your Mac. In general, a hard drive may not show up in the device list due to different reasons. A few of these reasons include the fact that your USB port on your MacBook might be broken, there might be a partition on your hard drive that is causing you a problem, there might be outdated drivers on your MacBook, and the hard drive itself might be formatted in the wrong file system. If your Mac is not detecting the external hard drive, don't panic because no matter what is causing the error, you can fix it on your own. Let's follow these solutions to fix the external hard drive not showing on your Mac error. The first and simplest way is to check the cable. First, check the hard drive's cable and ensure it hasn't encountered any physical damage. There are many situations when hard drive cables become loose or damaged due to daily use. If that's the case, all that you need to do is replace the cable with a new one and your MacBook will start recognizing your hard drive again. Also, check that the port isn't causing the problem as well. Try plugging in your hard drive into a different port. Or if you have one, try plugging another device in that port to see if it works okay. Another reason that might restrict a hard drive from showing up in your Mac is a lack of power. So make sure that you have enough power for the drive as this may fix the error. It's worth noting that an external hard drive needs an adequate amount of power when it connects to your computer. This is genuinely achieved by using the right type of cable. For instance, for some hard drives, they require a special power cable to successfully connect it to your PC. This type of cable has two split ends for a USB type A connector, as well as another type A connector to be plugged in to the two USB ports on your MacBook. So make sure that you are using the right type of cable that is compatible with your hard drive and make sure that it's getting enough required power. If changing the cable didn't fix the problem and there is no issue with power, then the next step would be to change the preference settings in Finder. Follow these steps to change the preference settings of Finder. Start by opening Finder and click the menu icon in the top left corner. Click Preferences and then go to the General tab. Now make sure that the External Drives option is checked. Finally, close Finder and you'll automatically see the external hard drive icon on your desktop. If your Mac still doesn't recognize the hard drive, you can use Disk Utility to access the drive. Here's what to do to use the official disk utility program in Mac to find your external hard drive that isn't showing up. Press Command plus the spacebar and type a disk utility and then press Enter. In the left menu bar, click your external hard drive and select the volume. Now simply tap the mount button and the hard disk will automatically show up on your desktop. If your drive is still inaccessible, then run first aid in the disk utility. Here you can also use its first aid feature from the top of the disk utility window to repair corrupt hard drives. So if you've had no luck so far, you might want to run the first aid check on the hard drive and hopefully it fixes the problem. Again, launch disk utility as I've shown you before, select your hard drive and click the first aid button at the top of the screen. 
Click Run on the window that's appeared and wait for the process to complete. Close the disk utility and check if your external hard drive icon is showing on the desktop or not. In case none of the previous solutions work, it's possible that the hard drive is formatted in the wrong file system. So what we need to do is change the file system on your hard drive. In this case, you can reformat the hard drive using Disk Utility again. Open Disk Utility and highlight the external hard drive. Now, click the Arrays option and choose a compatible file format from the list. Ideally, if you want to use the hard drive on your Mac, you should either choose APFS or XFAT. Click Arrays to complete the format. Once the process completes, you'll see the hard drive icon on your desktop. We hope you can fix the Mac not detecting the external hard drive issue from any of the methods that I've introduced. But in case you are still unable to repair your issues, your drive might be truly broken or formatted using a file system that the Mac cannot read. In this way, we suggest you follow the next steps to recover data from the disk drive. To recover lost data from an external hard drive, it would be better to use a recovery tool to retrieve the files before initiating the format. Why not try Wondershare Recover It? It's a professional recovery tool that can be used to recover different types of files from a variety of storage devices. It also has a user-friendly interface, which means that anyone can use it to recover files. Here's how to retrieve data from an external hard drive that doesn't show up on your Mac using Recover It. Install and launch Recover It on your Mac. Connect your hard drive to your computer and select it under the external drive tab on the Recover It's home screen. Click Start and Recover It will automatically start scanning the drive. Be patient as this may take a while to complete depending on the size of the hard drive. Once the scanning process completes, select the files that you want to retrieve and click Recover. Choose a safe location on your computer and the selected files will be automatically saved there. So that's how you can fix the external hard drive not showing on your Mac error. If you face any problems with any of these solutions, then please let us know down in the comments section below and we'll get back to you. In case you found this video helpful, then make sure to give us a like and also subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. Anyway, everyone, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.